So in a domestic operation, uh, it won't strictly be a military-led event, and so it's important that we have inter, uh, interoperability amongst agencies and organizations as well as uniformed folks to be able to uh, effectively respond. And then for us, uh, the Canadians, you know, they're part, uh, they're on North America, and so anything significant that happens here uh, would significantly impact them as well. And so it's important for us as a joint force to be able to work uh, with uh, militaries from other, other organizations, other countries. Um, in South Central here, in uh, Anch the Anchorage area, we're going to have uh, a replication of an extreme seismic event where we'll have um, uh, first responders and uh, CST uh, undergo search and rescue within that kind of urban environment. And then over the next couple of days, we're going to stand up a, a joint task force uh, composed of a large staff and a dual status commander to train their staffs on uh, jock operations and building situational awareness and exercising the, the uh, execution of a dual status command. It's always a good opportunity to bring those people together and diverse staffs and, and organizations together to actually uh, exercise that.